At McTaggart & Mickel, we pride ourselves on good customer service and ensuring that you're satisfied with your new home. With this in mind, we wanted to showcase certain areas of your home that will benefit from your care and attention from time to time. Willie McKinnon, one of our contracts managers at McTaggart & Mickel Homes, will now take you through some of these areas. The windows and doors of a new home are made from PVC. To avoid the build-up of mildew or mould, always wipe them down regularly. The build-up of mildew and mould can look unsightly and affect the aesthetic performance of your new home, so please make sure you maintain them regularly by wiping down with a clean, damp cloth. It's very important to make sure that the moving parts and doors, windows and locks are oiled regularly. Overall, this will make sure that the moving parts do not become stiff. By maintaining the moving parts on your windows, doors and locks in this manner, you should not only further the life of your product, but you will also find it much easier to use and much more convenient. Glass naturally contains bubbles and imperfections, but what we want to identify a new home is that the glass does not have any scratches. In order to identify any defects or damage in a piece of glass, it must be viewed at a distance of two meters. To do so, step towards the window and then take a step or two back, relating to this distance. It is important to note that glass is not scratch resistant, so when cleaning, please remove all jewellery items from your hands and clean the window using a soft cloth. Your solid or hardwood floors can be kept in good condition with regular cleaning. We advise you use a wet cloth or mop, but make sure not to overwet the floor as soaking may cause damage. Ventilation is an extremely important process when moving into your new home. Make sure you open windows when possible and always keep your trickle vents open throughout your home. The consequences of not properly venting your home can be varied. Condensation can cause issues such as mould, mildew and can impact on shrinkage. If you are drying clothes indoors on an error, make sure you close the door and open the windows of the room that the clothes are drying in to let the moisture escape outside. Further information on the ventilation of your home can be found in the NHBC guidance notes on condensation in homes contained within your handover pack. In early years, your house is still drying out. This could take up to 12 to 18 months where shrinkage will occur and naturally cracks will appear. Shrinkage is a problem that can impact on a variety of areas such as the stringer on the staircase, window ingles, window sills, mitre joints and nail pops. The acceptable levels of tolerance of shrinkage as set out by the NHBC guidelines is anything under the width of a £1 coin, so roughly 3mm. For any concerns you may have about shrinkage out with this level of tolerance, please contact your sales consultant. To minimise shrinkage, I would check the heating is not set too high. I would recommend that that is set at 18 degrees centigrade. The extractor fan is a very essential component within your new home. It's very important when having a bath or a shower that you keep the fan on. This will reduce the risk of condensation or the build-up of mildew or mould growth. To avoid the build-up of unsightly mildew on silicone, wipe down your shower and bath after use. Please note that your bath screen is a water deflector only, unlike your sealed shower cubicle. This should also be wiped down properly after use. Your showers are equipped with a trap feature that prevents blockages. These traps will need to be cleaned regularly. To do so, simply lift off the cap and remove the trap. Empty out any contents into the bin and rinse the trap with water. You can then replace the trap, making sure to secure the cap back in place. The isolator switch is located outside the room. 
This must be switched on to operate the shower. It is essential to let you know that an anti-scalm valve has been fitted behind your bath panel. This is very important while having a shower or bath so that the water does not become dangerously hot. It is also important to note that the anti-scald valves are fitted in line with the current HSE regulations. Should you notice anything amiss with your anti-scald valve, please do not attempt to touch or maintain it as this work should only be done by an authorised plumber. The appliances fitted to your new home have a two-year warranty. Your sales consultant has registered the guarantees for your convenience. The full operating, maintenance and aftercare instructions can be found within your handover pack. There are power points located throughout the room with accompanying fused spurs. Your main appliances may have a mains powered switch. These will be red in colour. To prevent damage to your wall units, we advise that you move any appliances that generate heat or steam like a kettle or a toaster, out from directly underneath the units while in use. The location of the mains water stop valve is dependent on property style. Please ask your sales consultant for details. To turn your mains water off, simply turn the lever till the valve is closed. Should you wish to fit your own dishwasher, we have installed a water supply isolator valve. In most property styles, this can be found under the sink. The central heating control panel can be found in different locations depending on your property style. Please refer to your house style layout plan or speak to your sales consultant. For full operating instructions, please refer to the operations manual provided in your handover pack. Radiators within your home are fitted with a thermostatic radiator valve or TRV. These are used to control the temperature in each room and can be adjusted to suit your requirements. In most property styles, there is at least one radiator that's not fitted with a TRV. This is called a bypass radiator. The bypass radiator allows the boiler to disperse a constant flow of water, even if the radiators have the TRVs turned to low or the off position. Radiators are fitted with bleed valves, which can be used as and when required to remove any trapped air which can periodically gather in the system. From time to time, or after bleeding radiators, you may be required to top up the water to the combi boiler. This is to maintain the correct water pressure for the boiler to operate. Please refer to the operations manual. In addition to the main boiler, larger homes with multiple bathrooms or en suites are also fitted with an unvented cylinder. For the exact location, please speak to your sales consultant. Your handover pack will contain full operations instructions. Your home is fitted with smoke detectors that are connected to the mains electricity and include battery backup. Please remember to test regularly and keep free from dust and in good working order. Your home will also have a carbon monoxide detector. This is located in the same room as your boiler. Your home is fitted with a sensitive safety device that switches off electricity automatically if there is a fault. This is called a residual current device or RCD. For the exact location of your RCD, please ask your sales consultant. Every electrical circuit in your home has a corresponding labelled fuse within your RCD unit. If you have a faulty electrical item, this may trigger the fuse to trip, switching off the electrical supply to that circuit. To return power to the circuit, simply flick the switch back on if this does not fix the issue, then you should contact a qualified electrician. Some rooms of your home may feature a multi-function media plate, which contains power sockets and the TV socket. On some developments, BT and Sky connections will also be available for use, should you wish to arrange connection. Your sales consultant will advise. It is the responsibility of each household to set up their own accounts with the providers of their choice and have the required equipment for use. Due to the extra insulation put into your new home, the attic space is now more like a cold storage room. 
Any items kept in the loft area must be put on the shelves above the insulation and must be kept in containers. So if you are going to use the loft space, items must be stored up off the insulation on shelves. Items should be kept in sealed containers to avoid getting damp. It is important to emphasise that the loft is not designed for the storage of heavy items. It's very important to understand that the garage is not an extension of your living space. It is not 100% waterproof, so take care when you're storing materials. As it is outside, there will be moisture in the air naturally, and this will condensate on materials or fabric stored in your garage, more so in the case of a detached garage. Your outside tap is a great resource for watering in the summer time, however it's most important to look after it, which means you must drain it down in the winter time. The drain down tap can be found underneath your kitchen sink. In order to drain down your outside tap, simply turn this tap then return outside to the outside tap. Turn the outside tap once till all the water runs out from the tap. It's good practice for every homeowner to maintain the cleanliness of their gutters. Failure to maintain your gutter will lead to blockages in the pipe and damage to your drainage system. Cleaning out your gutters is absolutely essential and you must ensure that it is done regularly. We would recommend that your gutters be cleaned every six months, particularly if there are trees in close proximity to your home. When you move into your new home, typically it will take 12 to 18 months for your garden to settle. The garden of your new McTaggart and Mickle home will either have grass that is seeded or turfed, depending on the season. More details are available in the garden care and maintenance leaflet, which can be found in your handover pack. Your garden will always need some maintenance, for example, some weeding, feeding and spiking. You'll want to get out of it what you put into it. Pathways and driveways outside your home may have a monoblock finish. To maintain, we advise you sweep away debris and keep the surface free of weeds. Manholes located within your plot should not be covered with any permanent fixtures, like a garden shed for example. However, feel free to disguise the manhole with more movable items like plant pots. Rodding eyes are also located within your plot. These are used to access underground pipes in the case of a blockage. Your property may have a service strip or soak away. Your sales consultant will be able to advise you on this. These areas cannot be built upon, enclosed or altered in any way as they are adopted and maintained by your local authority. Your new home is covered for 10 years from your move-in date by the NHBC Buildmark Warranty. The first two years of this warranty is covered directly by McTaggart & Mickle Homes. Full details of our after-sales service and how to report emergency and non-emergency items are provided in your home purchase guide. This info is also in your handover pack. Should you experience any issues or problems, you can be assured that it will be dealt with in a professional and efficient manner by our highly skilled team. Emergency out-of-hours telephone numbers are provided in your handover pack. We will contact you as soon as the financial settlement of your home has taken place. The financial settlement is when all funds have cleared in our solicitor's bank account. 
Please ensure your sales consultant has a valid phone number for you so they can let you know when the financial settlement has occurred. Your sales consultant will arrange a time to hand over your keys. You can then proceed to the development where your sales consultant will be waiting to welcome you to your new home. The timing of the financial settlement can occur any time within banking hours. Please bear in mind that if you arrive with your furniture prior to the financial settlement taking place, your sales consultant will not be able to allow you entry into your new home. This is a company policy and standard practice for every solicitor in Scotland acting for a seller and it is out with the control of your sales consultant. We will ask you to advise us of any scratches or damages to your home at this time. Any scratches or damage that you could not have reasonably been expected to see on handover day must be reported to us within seven days of the handover date. Your sales consultant will take meter readings and provide you with a copy. We will contact the supplier to report these readings and advise of the change of ownership. Thanks for taking the time to watch our handover movie. We hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or queries, please contact your sales consultant who will be very happy to help. From everybody at McTaggart & Mickle Homes, we wish you all the very best in your new home for many years to come.